I know you speak about you were involved in 19 murders and I don't want to mention names because I don't want to go down the same route as every other interview but I don't want to upset people as well but your first murder that you've done I've spoke to a lot of killers and a lot of them were nervous 99% of them were nervous you weren't why? I don't know I don't know maybe fighting maybe all the things maybe being trained in the in the military uh, I don't know I, I questioned that myself, to myself. When, uh, and I said it a bunch of times. I watched movies, guy kills somebody who's going to kill him, he kills him, and he's sweating, he's scared, he's nervous, he's this, he's that. I expected that to happen. I did the murder. Um, I was done, we cleaned, got rid of the gun, cleaned the car, did this, did that, did everything. And I went to a apartment where me and my friends were staying, took a shower, and waited for that to happen to me. It didn't happen. I got dried off. I went to bed. I slept like a baby. The next morning, I woke up. Little girls were up in the place, and, oh, my God, they killed Joe Colucci, and this and that, and it's in the paper. And I remember asking one of the girls, do they know who did it? She said, no, they were investigating it, but no, they don't know. And then they went to the corner and hang out. I came a little bit later. And when I walked there, I was there, standing right there. But I almost had like an out-of-body experience. I felt like I was way above them, listening, and they didn't see me, and, but I was able to see them. It was a weird feeling. Um, and what took me out of that feeling is that Shorty Spiller had pulled up, got his nephew Tommy, get Sammy, come my person, go wants to see him. And I came out of it. Shorty said, listen, don't explain what happened. You did a good piece of work last night. Let my nephew tell Carmine, because he was on the hit, too. Explain to him what exactly happened. You be quiet. I didn't say a word. He explained the whole thing. And we got in Carmine Persico, grabbed me, hugged me, kissed me on the cheek. He did a good piece of work. Patted me on the back, so to speak. And I left. And it always bothered me. Why didn't that stuff I saw in the movie, why didn't it bother me? Um... The only thing I could come up with, maybe I was just a natural born killer. Like I said, when I went in the military and I would have went to Vietnam, I would have killed. I had no hesitation about fighting for my country, protecting my family. This is, and now I was protecting Goza Nostra. It was a different type of army. Maybe that's it. I don't know what it is. But I never... I had that feeling, and I don't know why. Because we talk about being a product to your environment. Do you think you always had that something in you? You would have been involved in that some sort of violence or killings no matter where you grew up? 